Good morning everyone and welcome to the fifth day of Vlogmas. I went to sleep pretty early last night, so I woke up early as well. It's about 8 a.m. right now and I'm just getting ready for work. But first, let's do the coffee calendar. Ooh. This is Laura Supremo, strength number 10. Let's have it. Holy jolly Who is my Oh <laughs> what? I didn't know I was still recording. That's embarrassing. Cheers. It's good. So basically what I do for work for the people that don't know, I go to different supermarkets and I note down price changes for a company outside the supermarket. Because inflation is crazy. All right, so it is about 11 a.m. I am done working for today. I'm gonna do a little price breakdown for you guys. So I spent $2.49 on these pears and then later I went to the next supermarket and I saw the exact same pears for 50 cents cheaper, which was $1.99. A lot of prices of these same stores but different locations had like a price difference of 50 cents, even more. The biggest price difference I saw was 80 cents, a whole 80 cents. Let me look up real quick for what product that was. And that was for the product cauliflower. <laughs> it's crazy. And then I got this on discount for $1.35. It was originally $2.19. And then I had to pay $0.15 cents to return the bottle. If I return the bottle, I will get the $0.15 cents back. Finally, I got two of these like sausage rolls. I wanted to get one just to get something on the way to the third store. But there was a discount if I got two. So I got two for $1.49. But they were cold, so it wasn't that good. I'm going to heat this one up probably and then eat it later. So these three products together makes a total of $5.51. Right now, I'm going to edit yesterday's video so it can be uploaded tonight and later today i'm going out to utrecht with my friend emma i'm excited all right see you later youtuber logan finally uploaded he's like one of my biggest inspirations for youtube i literally love watching every single one of his videos can i put Yeah. Got him. Eyelash curler. I just need to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right? Right? Nee! Huh? Oh. Nee! Nice! Oh! so <laughs> Nee! slow Brother! I <laughs> like one zesty lemonade, please. Like, it's like, stay and stay out. Huh? In a six foot. Look at me scroll my cup. I'm looking real quick. So bold. Sorry. It's giving tacos. 
is een millennium. Ze komt de hele Kerberg collectie bij. All right, so I am back home and here is everything that I bought in Utrecht and what I spent. I got this for 85 cents and it had a deposit of 15 cents for the can. I will get that back if I return it. I got the Shin Ramen for 129. I only got it because it was cheaper than the one in the usual grocery store. I've been eating sriracha and I got this sriracha for 225. And then I also got these sour hot noodles. I really like them. Um, you either like it or you really don't like it. There's no in between, but I really like them. There you go. I got a Christmas present for 17 euros and 10 cents, including a 10% student discount, but I will not be showing you what it is. The person that I'm giving this to may watch my videos. Then I bought this really nice gray knit sweater. I've been looking for a sweater like this for a long time. I spent $29.99 on this, and I absolutely love the way it looks on me. And then finally, I spent $15.35 on lunch, which was the toasty that you saw in the lemonade, the zesty lemonade. <laughs> So what is the total? Plus 17, 10 plus. So what I spent on my day out in Utrecht was a total of 68 euros and 43 cents. But I did spend more than that. I did do some groceries while working this morning. Not really groceries. I did spend a little bit before that as well. So I will be adding that. <sighs> so this morning I spent 249 on pears, 149 on the sausage rolls, and 168 on the smoothie, which brings today's spending total to 74 euros and 9 cents. Obviously, I don't spend this much on the average day, but I went out today and I also bought a Christmas present. Um, but that concludes the spending of today. I'm trying to set my Christmas budget. Whoa. Also, I'm trying to spend... Whoa. 420. Also, I'm trying to set my Christmas spending budget to 100 euros, which it might sound like a lot, but I feel like I already spent 17 euros, so there's only 83 euros left, and this is like for the gifts for everyone. I'm just going to try to stay within that or at least aim for that. And we will see what happens. Obviously under is better, but we will see. I don't know if it's a lot or not. I just know that if I don't set a certain limit to myself, that I will spend a lot. Because for me, money spent on gifts is not money. <laughs> it's not actually money spent. So that is maybe a problem, but yeah. Right now I will be doing a uni assignment and I will be finishing the lecture that I started earlier today. And also I might start editing this video that you are watching right now. All right, see you guys later. By the way, I am proud of myself that I did not spend any money on coffees, chais, or matches today. So that is a win. That is a win.